Welcome to News from the Sound, a weekly cooperative effort between BCTV and the Sound newspaper. I'm Nicole Ball, and here are your highlights from the Sound's August 19th issue. In case you missed the primary election results, pick up this week's Sound or check online to see which local candidates will now vie for positions during the November elections. The primary results were posted first to zippo6.com forward slash Brantford the night of elections. It was a star-studded debut for the Soundview Family YMCA this weekend. Organizers threw a gala ball, costumes optional, and the community was invited to tour the new green facility. The building on East Main Street boasts two indoor pools, state-of-the-art wellness rooms and equipment, a teen active adult center with game tables and computer stations, and a dance exercise space big enough for school-sized dance parties. Outside, where summer camp opened in June and quickly filled to capacity, is a 35-foot high climbing wall, archery range, woodland trails, and more. For more photos of the gala and the following day's grand opening festivities, visit zippo6.com forward slash Brantford. The Sound's Person of the Week has our son's heart in mind. Jack, a toe-headed toddler, was born with congenital heart defect. To help raise money for the research of CHD, Jack's mom, Laura Hansen, has put together the first annual walkathon and Family Festivities Day this Sunday. The event, aptly named Jack of All Hearts, will raise money to help spread awareness of CHD and to support pediatric cardiology programs at Yale New Haven Children's Hospital and Yale School of Medicine. Learn more about the walk this week in The Sound. A controversy has erupted over whether meetings of Area Cable Advisory Council can be videotaped for airing on cable TV. Marie Sadig, a longtime public access advocate from East Haven with 20 years experience in cable TV, says that the recording of the meetings is protected by the State Freedom of Information Act. New Council Chairman Mark Minotti, however, says the council has to authorize it first. The Cable Advisory Council of South Central Connecticut serves seven towns, including Brantford. What do you think? Head over to zippo6.com forward slash Brantford and leave your comment below this story, or feel free to send a letter to the editor. At a recent Brantford Shellfish Commission meeting, the Commission voted to indefinitely postpone the proposed leasing of shellfish beds in Short Beach. The Commission is standing behind its state-mandated management and environmental jurisdiction descriptions, which specifically in the case of Short Beach differ from those in town ordinance language. The Shellfish Commission plans to now further consult with state departments. As the debate over commercial shellfishing and increased pollution from contaminants ensues, stay tuned to The Sound and Zippo6.com for updates. And feel free to weigh in on the debate by leaving your comments below shellfishing stories on the website. If you've got Sunday free, be sure to check out Books, Barbecue, and Blues taking place at the James Blackstone Memorial Library. And if you go, don't forget your camera. Post your photos to zippo6.com forward slash Brantford. In sports, the Brantford Senior American Legion post-83 baseball team headed to the World Series over the weekend after clinching the Northeast Regional title. However, its trip to Spokane, Washington was cut short as the team was eliminated after losing Game 1 to Moline, Illinois, and Game 2 to Kernsville, North Carolina. Despite the losses, team coach Rich Balzano was proud of his squad. Coverage of the World Series games first appeared on the Sound's website, zippo6.com, as the games were happening. In other baseball news, sports person of the week, Ben Criscolo, may only be a high school sophomore, but he's been around the baseball diamond. On the Freshman Hornets team, he played first base, earning himself the squad's most valuable player award. The same year, he also played shortstop on the Hornets JV team. This past summer, he led the Junior Legion team to claim the Zone 2 title as pitcher. Ben's future plans include spots on Brantford's prestigious Senior Legion team and his high school varsity team. And this week in The Sound and on Zippo6.com, you can learn about the Sports Association of Gaylord Hospital, which provides adaptive sports activities for people with special physical needs. Be sure to head over to our website to see a video and photo gallery of adaptive archery and find out what other sports are offered. In Living, the weekend of August 20th through August 22nd is your chance to catch the first screening of the Madison-inspired film Harvest playing at Madison Art Cinemas. The film, several years in the making, was shot in Madison by writer, director, producer Mark Myers, who has local ties. He will be at the Madison Theater to discuss this multi-generational film. Find out more about the event in the sound and online at zippo6.com. In columns, Lee White makes the best of summer bounty, and this is one vegetable recipe you shouldn't miss. And in Shoreline Living, Juliana Gribbins recaps a night out in the town where the social scene is anything but appealing. Ask the Organizer gives you some back-to-school tips, and our movie review sees the kids are all right as more than just all right. For movie news sent right to you, like The Sound on Facebook, and we'll send the latest review and weekend showtimes right to you. And this week on the web. 
The Sound Makeover contestant winner, Maura Page of Bramford, has completed her reinvention process. Head over to Zippo6.com and select your town on the map to find a sneak peek photo gallery of Maura's beauty, fitness, and fashion journey. You can also find her journals detailing her experience. Next week, you'll get her full story, many more photos, and a video showcasing what she's accomplished. Stay tuned. And the Dan Cosgrove Animal Shelter Pet of the Week is a one-year-old boxer pit bull mix named Peggy. Find out if she's the pet for you this week in the local school box on zippo6.com forward slash Branford. That's it for news from the sound this week. We'll see you next week.